Paul, well done. Another three points on the board. What are you feeling after that? Yeah, relieved is probably the best way to explain it. I thought we were pretty handsome first half, apart from a, uh, we didn't start the game well. Stockley won a lot of headers and their two tens kept getting behind our back line, so that wasn't uh, ideal. But at half-time, I thought we, yeah, we looked handsome for 2-0 and we just needed that next goal. We had a couple of opportunities, but in fairness to Fleetwood, as you would expect, uh, on a bit of a winter pitch, um, they came back into it, crossed it a lot, set pieces, but I thought we defended pretty well. And then, you know, we got done with a um, great cross in and Stockley's put a header in the top corner where you're not going to save it. So, uh, and then it made it more frantic than it needed to be. But they did get more control second half than we would have liked. We probably overcomplicated it a little bit. Um, but uh, to get a goal late on, please, for Tomo and to get a win is uh, great. How important was it after losing late on on Monday to get back on the winning trail as soon as you could? Well, yeah, you just want to win games. I mean, if we'd have lost, if we'd have gone three 0 down to Peterborough after 20 minutes and still lost, it would have made, you know, we just want to win. And like, you are going to lose games. You just got to forget it. It's all right being a manager, you know. <laughs> Um, you lose a game, you, you feel the pain, but you just have to move on and think, right, the next one, the next one, the next one. So you can feel sorry for yourself and uh, at times and think, well, oh, but you just can't. you just got to just be positive with the lads, tell them how good they are and how good they can be, because I still don't think we're right on song today. But these are hard games to play in. They're, they're difficult to play in. Playing on Oxford away, a Wigan away, you know how the structure of the game is, you know how both teams try and play and... You just, if you outwork the opposition, you give yourselves a right chance. These games are a little bit different, a bit more random. It, it can come down to a set piece, um, and uh, we've done enough. So it's great to win, and it's great to win here because these three points are worth the same as a Wigan away. So uh, really pleased with the lads how they dug in when um, you know asked a few questions. I was going to mention that about the fact that people from the outside are looking, say Fleetwood bottom, change manager again. Oh, that should be an easy win for Derby but as we've learned this season you mentioned it pre-game with Sky against the lower teams you've maybe not had the results that you would have liked so how pleased are you that you've come here been effective and got the three points yeah really pleased I mean I picked the biggest team we had I knew that you know uh, um, set piece goals and set piece uh, attempted goals so to speak these were the best so we knew they were a threat they had five players over six foot three so we picked the biggest team we could and we've been criticised and, and rightfully so um, that, you know, Shrewsbury away, Stevenage away, we just weren't in the fight as much as I would like. And in League One, you have to win the, you know, the fight to win the war, really. So we came with a, a more physical presence on, on attacking and defensive set pieces. And so for us to come here and win's great. And, you know, you, you bring in... You don't come here as the, as the third team and they're the bottom team. Once the game starts as a professional football, it's just game on. It's like, you know, in they say in America, any given Sunday, anyone can beat anyone. Like for League One teams, anyone can beat anyone. And people will come here and lose this year. And, um, you know, I know they haven't won for a few games now, but the, the win will come, won't it? And, you know, at 2-1, if they'd have scored another one, we could have lost 3-2 and left here um, so disappointed. But we hung in and obviously Tomo to get the goal um, is great. Are you pleased with the sort of quality of your goals? Lovely ball through for, for Nat to keep his call cool and finish. Colo from a set play, which I'm sure will give you the most pleasure out of all the goals. Yeah, Colo's was good. I liked, obviously, the third goal. I mean, you're being way too kind. The first goal was pure ugger. Um, and sometimes in football, like, you know, it is a... Uh, you know, you just got, <laughs> you got to get down the other end by hook or by crook. Sonny cleared it. Colo competed. Birdie got his foot in and, and that's in. I can't say it was our most impressive move of the day, but you get a goal, no one cares. So, um, yeah, I just thought the lads managed the game pretty well today. Um, and at the end, the clock ran out quite nicely. But for Colo to score for set piece, we should have scored off one before that. A great ball in. Um, but, yeah, we've done enough, so I'm not complaining. You made a, a couple of changes to the team, and you mentioned that certainly from going physical with Sonny. The goalkeeping one was obviously sort of the, the standout one, if you like, from the outside looking in. How tough a decision was that for you? Yeah, not easy. I don't enjoy, as you well know, I don't enjoy uh, dropping anyone. I don't enjoy changing anything for. I don't change anything for change's sake. I give probably I give things too much thought. It drives me insane. But um, Joe, tra uh, sorry, trained on Thursday. Didn't look a hundred percent. Um, and I just felt it was uh, an opportunity to let Josh play. I played all my 
m my men today. It's not nothing about against Joe. I just meant that. Uh, I just thought it was, you know, collectively we agreed that it was it was time to give Josh a game. Uh, not through charity, by the way. Just the fact that he'd been training really well, and you just can't carry any passengers. So if my, you know, if my centre forward had a bad ankle, I wouldn't play him. Foz had a bad calf at half time, could have played on. Why? I take him off and put Callum on. So it's the same in every position. I know it sounds a bit callous, and it's not a decision I enjoy making. But you know, it's about you know winning football matches, and it doesn't matter who, who puts the shirt on as long as they put it on and perform and win. That's what matters. That's your ninth win away from home in the league this season. Throughout the whole of last season, only got eight. So, Ooh. what what do you feel has been the sort of turning point uh, away from home? Because I remember so many times last year, we had discussions with the media about what's what's. Can you put your finger on the away form? So, in a positive way, can you put your finger on the away form? Uh, no, not really. Um, we might have had a, a kind of bounce of the ball here and there. The lads might. I know. Sorry, I'm not on the bus, so you can go. Connor's behind going, stop talking so much. Uh, maybe uh, the lads have a greater understanding of what we want. Uh, we've been with them longer, and that's important with relationships with players. So uh, in that respect, um, and yeah, our better players have probably played better. We've kept them uh, reasonably fit, so they're in a good place. And we psychology is key in, in football, so they, they leave the dressing room thinking they're going to win every game. I'm not saying they didn't last year, but... You know, it's proofs in the pudding. If you win a game and you get sent out and you're told you're going to win again, you think, well, there's a good chance we are. So they are in the ascendancy. They have done really well away from home. And when called upon, they have really dug in and defended really well. Nels has been a brilliant addition to our back line. We've obviously got Sonny knocking on the door, literally, um, to play. Uh, and Cash has been outstanding. So if your centre halves can defend, you give yourself a much better chance, especially away from home. And um, today uh, they, they got us another win. So I'm really proud of them.